Singer Independent. Oh my god, that's my type of shit right there. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayla, but you can call me Shay. And today, I have a very special video for you guys once again. But before we get started with this video, make sure you go ahead and like this video because I have a feeling you're going to like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet... Um... I don't know what you're doing, but um... Subscribe, like... Keep it the winning team. Come on. Yeah. Might as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I do a simple, basic, easy, somewhat quick, full face of makeup. So when I say a full face of makeup, I define that as eyebrows, some type of eyeshadow, face makeup, and then some type of lip look as well. So that's how I define a full face. So I'm going to be showing you all how I do a simple full face that I feel like anybody can do. I am not a beauty guru and I'm not a makeup artist. So I definitely feel like this will be relatable to people who, you know, just kind of want to be able to do their makeup for different occasions, but aren't necessarily, you know, gifted in doing makeup just yet. So yeah, um, if you guys are interested in that, then keep watching. I'm going to be doing each section one by one. So I'm going to go through how I do my eyebrows grooming and filling in, how I do a basic eyeshadow look, how I do my face makeup, and then like a basic lip that I always do. And that's going to be it. I'm going to go in in as much detail as I possibly can without making this a super long video. So I'm going to do a voiceover and just kind of really give y'all all of the details that I can as I go through. But yeah, that's the concept for this video. So I hope you guys enjoy and Let's get right into it. So I'm starting this whole thing off by grooming my eyebrows. It's so much easier to fill them in when they're already clean, so let's get that out of the way. I'm starting by taking a spoolie and brushing my eyebrows in an upwards motion because I'm going to be cutting the hairs down so the top line of my eyebrow is clean and defined. I did a terrible job filming this part because I kept going out of frame trying to look at my mirror, but basically all I'm doing is taking these small scissors and cutting any hairs that just don't fall in line with the rest of my eyebrow. Next, I'm taking this eyebrow razor and shaving in a downwards motion from my forehead to the top of my brow to get rid of any hairs above my brow. And then I'm taking these fine point tweezers to clean up the bottom of my brow. You'll see in the brow I haven't done that there are hairs underneath my brow that don't fall in line with my eyebrow, so I just tweeze those to get rid of them. And now my brows are clean and I'm ready to fill them in. Okay, so now for filling in my brows. To fill in my brows, I'm going to take a small angled brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. If you're scared of your brows looking too dark, the NYX Brow Pencil is really good for an easy but more natural look. But basically, I just dip my brush in the pomade, not scoop because you don't need much at all. Then I squeeze the brush between my fingers just to make it a little more stiff and easier to control exactly where the product is going. Then I define the shape of the tail of my brow and the line underneath the front of my brow and a little bit of the line towards the top middle of my brow and that's it. I just use a spoolie to blend it out and now it's time to conceal. So I'm using two different concealers, everything will be in the description box but I'm using a lighter one for underneath my brow and I basically apply it a little further than right on the line underneath my brow and build it up until I can get that really close sharp line right underneath my brow. And I do the same exact thing on top with a darker concealer that's closest to my skin tone. I'm just using a random small brush here, but a small brush with a square shape would probably be easier to use to really get that defined shape. Yeah, but once that's done, I just blend it all out with a small blending brush and also add a little more of the lighter concealer to my eyelids to prime them for my eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I'm doing a super basic look that you can do in any color as long as you have a dark shade, a medium shade, a light shade, and a shimmery shade if you want to add that as well. Again, the names of everything I use will be in the description box. So I'm starting off with my darkest shade and blending that from the edge of my eye into the crease all the way to the front of my eye. Then I take that medium shade and pat it right into my lid, basically filling in the space left under my crease. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush and blending those two colors together to make sure there aren't any harsh lines. Now I'm taking the lightest shade and patting that into the very front of my lid from the inner corner to about the middle of my lid. And you'll see me bring the blending brush in a few times just to make sure everything looks cohesive. 
Now I'm taking that shimmery shade and putting that basically right on top of the lighter shade, but maybe not as far onto my lid. And that's basically it. Now for lashes, I always use the same ones from Amazon. They're super cheap and the link will be in the description box. But I'm using the glue that I get from the beauty supply and while I let that dry for a little, I'm starting my face makeup with this Makeup Revolution powder that really just helps my foundation go on super smooth. And now I'm just putting on my lashes. Okay, so for the face, I'm starting by priming my skin with the Baby Skin Primer. Then I'm going in with my foundation using a Real Technique sponge to apply it. I basically just put a few dots on my face, then spray my sponge with setting spray and blend it all out. I start off pretty light and then I'll add more if I feel like I want more coverage from the foundation. Now I'm taking the same concealer I used on top of my brows to conceal under my eye. I put it right next to my nose and in an upwards motion right at the end of my eye to highlight the high points of my face and just make me look lifted. Then I blend that out. Now I'm taking my lighter concealer and I'm applying it in basically the same place but I'm not using as much as the other one and I blend that out too. Now I'm taking that same powder I put on my face before and I'm going to pat it into my face exactly where I applied the concealer to set it. I don't use a lot and I really press it into my skin but if there's any excess I just brush it away with this big fluffy brush. Now for contour I'm taking this Bare Minerals powder foundation and a fluffy angled brush. I'm applying it underneath my cheekbones and around my jawline just to give me some depth and bring some color back to my face. After that's completely blended out, I'm taking this blush and applying it in an upwards motion along my cheekbones and a little across my nose too. For lips, I like to keep it pretty simple so I'm just taking this NYX lip liner and lining my top lip and the edges of my bottom lip. Then I'm using this Beauty Supply Glittery Lip Gloss and that's it. So to finish everything off, I'm using whatever makeup is left on my sponge to get the part of my forehead that was covered by the scarf. And I'm also contouring the edges of my forehead with whatever is left on my contouring brush. I'm using that shimmery eyeshadow shade to highlight my nose, my cupid's bow, and the inner corner of my eyes. Then I finish it all off with some mascara on my bottom lashes. Alright y'all, so here is my finished look. Here's how it turned out. Have my brows done, eyeshadow, face, a little simple lip. And yeah, here's what I look like. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like this look is pretty simple. It's not anything that um, takes too much work. Um, I'd say this probably will take me about half an hour to 45 minutes to do if I'm just kind of like taking my time and relaxing. But yeah, it doesn't take long at all. I think this is perfect for if you're just starting out because it doesn't require a whole bunch of products. And also all of the products that I use are pretty reasonably priced. So yeah, if you're just starting out and you're looking for a way to, you know, get into makeup a little bit and do like a complete full face rather than just doing eyeshadow, just doing brows or just doing a lip, um, hopefully this video helped you out. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think this is a little bit too much or if you think you can manage. Yeah, comment down below and let me know. But yeah, that's going to be it for this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. This is my go-to whenever I need to film a video, whenever I just want to take a picture or if I have a show or something, this is my go-to look. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If I haven't said it enough, I appreciate each and every view, like, comment, share, everything. You are so appreciated. So thank you so much for just interacting and being kind to me. And yeah, hopefully I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.